Hello students and welcome to Smart Kids Tutorials. In this video, we will be solving uh, Go Aboard's model paper that will be uh, coming for the first term 2022 MCQ type level, uh, uh, questions. And uh, this is mainly for level 2 students but also applicable for level 1 students. So I would advise even level 1 student to solve this paper and see the solutions and it will be helpful as a practice paper and for level 2 they need to take this paper very seriously because this is actually meant for them and will give them a good idea of what is to come for the upcoming exams. So let's begin with the instructions first. Uh, each question is provided with four alternatives. Choose the correct alternative and the second uh, instruction says each question carries one mark there is no negative marking for incorrect choice so there are a total of 40 questions 40 marks and the duration would be uh, an hour if it is extended you would be let uh, they would let you know about it so the first question is the product of the zeros of the quadratic polynomial 2x square minus 5x plus 7 is the choices are given here a b c and d you only have to choose one of them because only one of them is the correct answer so for that we will solve and find out which one is the correct one product of the zeros of okay so 2x square minus 5x plus 7 so if we take uh, if we compare it to the general equation uh, this is what we'll get a equal to 2 b equal to minus 5 and c equal to 7 and we know that the uh, product is given by alpha into beta is equal to c upon a so that c is 7 a is 2 so 7 upon 2 is the correct answer and your correct choice is d 7 upon 2 let's go to the next one the second question the prime factorization of 504 is one of these so we'll have to factorize to find out what are the prime factors of 504 4 so 504 take over here okay for 7 times table 7 7 are 49 carry 1 14 7 2 the 14 then uh, 3 times table 3 2 the 6 3 4 the 12 3 8 the 24 2 4 the 8 2 2 the 4 1 okay so right over here 504 equal to 7 a 3 how many 3 other 2 so 3 raised to square 3 square and 2 raised to cube so 2 raised to cube is over here but we need 3 square so 2 cube 3 square 7 so b is our correct choice 2 cube 3 square into 3 square into 7 are the factors of 504 moving to the Next question, third question that is, if 10 of a plus 40 degrees is equal to quad 32 degrees, where a is an acute angle, then the value of a is one of these. Okay, So let's uh, solve and find out what is the correct value. So I'll write it down again, 10 of a plus 40 degrees so here equal to quad 32 degrees all right this is the way it is again this comes under complementary angle so cot of 32 can be written as cot of 90 degree minus 58 degrees okay so 90 minus 58 gives us 32 degrees right this again 10 of a plus 40 degrees here so complementary of cot 58 would be 10, 10, 58 degrees. Cancel 10 on both sides, we get A plus 40 degrees equal to 58 degrees. Take 40 on the other side and we'll get A equal to 18 degrees because 58 minus 40 is 18 degrees. So our correct choice is A, 18 degrees. Fourth question, the solution of the pair of linear equation 4x plus y equal to 7 and x minus y equal to 3 is one of these. So let's solve and find out. 
फोर एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू सेवन एंड एक्स माइनस वाई इक्वल टू थ्री ओके सो वी डोंट हैव टू डू एनीथिंग जस्ट ऐड देम अप एंड दिस विल कैंसिल बिकॉज प्लस एंड माइनस वी विल गेट फाइव एक्स इक्वल टू टेन सेवन प्लस थ्री इज टेन फोर प्लस वन इज फाइव फाइव That means x is equal to two because five and the five, five to the two. X equal to two. Now we put uh, this. If we take this as equation one and equation two, we'll put this value in equation two to get the value of y. We will do this over here. So x instead of y, okay, x minus y. I'll take this again. X minus y equal to three. Instead of x, I'll put uh, two minus y equal to three. If I take y on this side. And bring three on this side, then I, we will get y equal to minus one. So we get x equal to two, y equal to minus one. See, that is choice number C. X equal to two, y equal to minus one. So C is our correct choice. Next question, question five. From an external point Q, the length of the tangent to a circle is fifteen centimeters. If the radius of the circle is eight centimeters. Then the distance of Q from the center is one of these, which means uh, you have a circle here, okay? And then what it says is uh, there's a center here, and here is the radius. And then you have a tangent like this, which is 15 centimeters, and this radius is 8 centimeters, and there's an external point Q. From here, if you join here, this is the length that we need to find out. Like if we take this as O, O Q is what we need to find out. So uh, we know this is the perpendicular. So if this is the perpendicular, this side opposite to the perpendicular always becomes the hypotenuse. So we need to find the hypotenuse, um, and we have been given that. So if we want to find out the hypotenuse, that is O Q in this case, then that will be equal to fifteen. Uh, Whole square plus eight whole square according to Pythagoras theorem. Okay, uh, this will come to square root of two twenty five plus eight square is sixty four. You add these up, it gives us two hundred and eighty nine, which is actually square square root of two eighty nine is seventeen. So our correct choice is C seventeen centimeter. Coming to question six, the quadratic Polynomial having the sum and product of its zeros as minus two and minus five respectively is one of these. So let's first write down what is the sum. The sum is given as minus two, and the product is given as minus five. So if you want, wish to write it in the quadratic form, uh, this is how we need to do this. Uh, it is x square minus Sum of the product to x plus product of the zeros. That is x square minus. So instead of uh, sum, that is we have got minus two. So minus two we put x plus alpha into beta is minus five. We open the brackets. We get x square plus two x. Minus five. So our polynomial is x squared plus two x minus five. Uh, that's fine. so. Sorry, this is in y. So whatever variable there is x, just replace it with y. You have to change it with respect to the variable. So it will be y squared plus two y minus five. Y squared minus two y uh, is this one. B y squared minus two y minus five. Sorry, y squared plus two y. Y square plus two y minus five. A is your correct choice. Okay. Y square plus two y minus five is your correct choice. Seventh question. The distance between the points P one comma four and Q four comma zero is dash L. So this is just a distance formula that we need to use. P Q equal to square root of X two minus X one whole square plus Y two 
minus y1 whole square that is equal to square root of 4 minus 1 is 3 3 whole square plus minus 4 whole square that will give us square root of 3 whole square is 9 and minus 4 whole square is 16. So when we add the two we will get square root of 25 which is 5 units. Correct choice is C 5 units. Eighth question the equation which has two comma minus three as one of its solution is one of these. Well, we'll have to put uh, to solve this. We have to put uh, in place of x we have to put two in place of y we have to put minus three in each of these equations to find out uh, which one is uh, I mean which uh, of these equations is this two comma minus three a solution of. So. Um, I will directly go, you, if, if you have a glance at it, you can easily find out which one it is. The left hand side should be equal to the right hand side in this case. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to show you only the one which is the correct choice and that one is D and I will show you how it works. So, we will take left hand side of this equation that is x plus 2y and in place of x put 2 and in place of uh, y put minus 3 ok. So, 2 plus uh, not plus it will be minus 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 that 2 minus 6 gives us minus 4 which is equal to the right hand side. So, x plus 2 y equal to minus 4 this is the equation which when 2 comma 3 minus 3 is put into this left hand side it becomes equal to right hand side because it is uh, one of its solution. Coming to the uh, the eighth question, the correct choice is D. Coming to the ninth question, in the figure, triangle ABC is right angled at B, like this. If AB is 10 centimeters, that means this is 10 centimeters, and BC is dash. So we need to find out BC. The only thing that we are given, two things are given in fact. AB is given as 10 centimeters, and angle C is given as uh, 30 degrees in this diagram. So, let us write down. So, from here what we can find out is like sine of C can be written as perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So, perpendicular is AB and hypotenuse is obviously AC because it is a side opposite to the right angle. So, that would be AB upon AC. Now, AB is given to us 10 so, sin c can be written as 10. Now, angle c is 30 degrees. So, we can write sin c as sin of 30 degree equal to 10 upon ac. And we know sin of uh, 30 degrees is half. So, half equal to 10 upon ac. So, if we cross multiply, ac will multiply with 1, it will remain ac. 2 will multiply into 10 and give us 20. So, ac we get as 20 centimeters. Now, we just have to find out uh, BC. So, AC equal to 20 centimeters. I uh, forgot to mention the choices over here. So, I will just write down the choices. So, here are the choices 20 root 3, 10 upon 3, 10 root 3 and 10 upon root 3. Now, we have got uh, AB, we have got AC. If we want BC, we can use Pythagoras theorem. So, by Pythagoras theorem, BC will be equal to square root of 20 whole square minus 10 whole square that will give us 400 minus 100 and that is equal to square root of 300. The square root of 300 can be written as 100 into 3. The square root of 100 is 10. So, we get 10 root 3 centimeter equal to BC. So, BC is 10 root 3 and C is our correct answer. Next question 10. Um, a die is thrown once the probability of getting an odd prime number is one of these. So, a die has got 6 numbers ok. From there odd numbers are 1, 3 and 5. If you say odd prime number then we rule out 1 because 1 is not a prime number we are left with just 3 and 5. So, probability of getting 
odd prime number is 2 upon 6 which is 2 on the 2, 2 the 6, 1 upon 3. So, our correct choice is B, 1 upon 3. Next question. The value of k for which the pair of linear equation to x plus 3y equal to 4 and 4x minus ky equal to 10 uh, equal to 8 has infinitely many solutions. In other words, it's saying 2 upon 4 is equal to 3 upon minus k is equal to minus 4 upon minus 8. Okay, then to find out uh, the value of k, take 2 upon 4 equal to 3 upon minus k. So, my minus 2k, if we cross one, we get minus 2k equal to 4 into 3 is 12. 2 on the 2, 2, 6 are 12. So, we get k equal to minus 6. So, correct answer is a minus 6. Question 12, the degree of the polynomial 2p square minus 5 into 3 minus 4p cube is dash. So we will have to open this bracket first. 2p square minus 5 into 3 minus 4p cube. So, 2p square into 3 minus 4p cube minus 5 into this entire bracket again, 3 minus 4p cube. We will get 2p square into 3 gives us 6p square. 2p square into minus 4p cube will give us uh, 2 into 4 is 8 minus 8 p raised to 5 minus 5 into 3 is minus 15 minus 5 into minus 4 so that would be plus 20 p cube so the degree of the polynomial is the highest uh, degree of that particular variable so the uh, degree of this polynomial will be 5 because the highest power is 5 so c is our correct choice. Next problem 13. In the given figure a circle is inscribed in a trapezium like this of height 14 centimeter. If the lengths of the parallel sides of the trapezium are 10 centimeters and uh, 20 centimeters then the area of the shaded region is dash and pi has to be taken as 22 upon 7. So, we are given a circle that is inscribed in a tra trapezium. Okay. and it has a height of 14 centimeters. So, if we let us say uh, this is the center of the circle, so which will be a diameter as well as the height that is 14 centimeters. That means the radius will be 7 centimeter each and we are said the length of the parallel sides of the trapezium that means this side and this side is 10 centimeter 20 centimeters. So, we will take this top one which is shorter as 10 centimeter and below as 20 centimeter. So, what we need to do to find out the area of the shaded region is first we need to find out the area of this trapezium and find out the area of this circle. Then we subtract the area of the circle from this trapezium and we will get the uh, leftover area that is the shaded area. So, let us begin by finding out the area of the trapezium first. So, area of the trapezium is given by the so area of trapezium we write is given by half into the sum of the sides into the height. Okay, so half into uh, a will take as 10 and b will take as 20 and height uh, is uh, 14 centimeters, right? So the two ones are two, two sevens are 14, and then we'll add what is inside the bracket okay. uh, over here. So area of trapezium, I'll write again, and then 10 plus 20 would be. 30, 30 into 7 that would give us 210 square centimeters. Once we have found it, we need to find the area of the inscribed circle. So, inscribed circle I will write over here and that is pi r square. Pi is given to us as 22 upon 7 and r we know the height is 14 over here which also is the diameter. So, that means the radius will be half of the diameter which is 7. So, 7 square, I'll write 7 into 7. 7 and 7 cancels, we get 22 into 7, which is 154 
square centimeter next uh, we need to find the area of the shaded area shaded region area of shaded region is equal to area of uh, trapezium uh, minus area of uh, the circle okay then area of trapezium is 210 minus area of circle is 154 and the answer uh, that we get 210 minus 154 gives us 56 square centimeter that is the area of the shaded region and if you look at our choices uh, a is 56 square centimeter so that is our correct choice next question if uh, cos a equal to 3 upon 5 then sec square a is dash and the uh, choices given are 4 upon 5 9 upon 25 5 upon 3 or 29, 25 upon 9. We will write down what is given to us first. That is cos A is equal to 3 upon 5. We want to find out sec square A. The relationship between cos A and sec A is that they are reciprocal of each other. So, we can if cos A is 3 upon 5, we can write sec A equal to 5 upon 3. So, reciprocal of 3 upon 5 is 5 upon 3. And now we need sec square A. So, we square on both the sides. If we square on both the sides, this is what will happen. So, square on both sides, we get 6 square A equal to 25, 5 square is 25 and 3 square is 9, 25 upon 9 and that means D is our correct option. Moving on to the 15th uh, question, we are asked to find out the HCF of 84 and 108. So, we will find the prime factors of 84 as well as uh, 108. So, 7 12 is 84. 3 4 is a 12, 2 2 is a 4, 2 1 is a 2. Okay. And for 108, uh, we get uh, 3 3 is a 9, 1 8, 3 6 is a 18, 3 12 is a 36, 3 4 is a 12, 2 2 is a 4, and 2 1 is a 2. Now we will write down the factors of both 108 and 84 and see which. Uh, which is the uh, what is the highest common factor so 108 is 3 into 3 into 3 into 2 into 2 and 84 is 7 into 3 into 2 into 2 now we'll see what is common between the two this 1 3 and this 3 common and this, this 2 and this 2 common and this 2 and this 2 common so we'll say hcf of 84 comma 108 is equal to 3 into 2 into 2. 3 to the 6, 6 to the 12. So, 12 is our correct choice which makes B as our correct option. Moving on to the 16th question, the area of triangle ABC with vertices is A minus 4 comma 2 and B 2 comma 2 and C 0 comma minus 4 is dash square units. So, we need to find the area of the triangle where the vertices have been given. So, we need to use the area of triangle formula uh, in coordinate system. So, let us do that. So, area of uh, triangle ABC equal to half. So, we will put down, I am going to put down x1, x2, x3 first. So, x1 is minus 4, we put a bracket, then uh, plus 2 for x2, again a bracket, uh, plus uh, 0 for x3 and again a bracket. Okay. Now, we will, since this is x1, so we need to put y2 minus y3. So, y2 is 2 and y3 is minus 4. So, 2 plus 4 it will become because y2 minus y3. Then next we come to y, since this is x2, this will be y3 minus y1. So, y3 is minus 4 minus y1. So, that is 2. So, this will become minus 2. Next, this is x3, so we will have y1 minus y2 and uh, y1 is 2 and y2 is also 2, so this will become minus 2. Next, half and uh, minus 4 into 6, 4 plus 2 is 6, so that will give us minus 24. Then, minus 4 and minus 2 gives us minus 6, minus 6 into 2a gives us minus 12. And 0 into this will be 0, so that is 0 altogether. Okay. 
and that would be half into 24 and 36 24 and 12 gives us 36 now in this case um, uh, area of a triangle can't be negative so we ignore this negative sign I will just take it as positive 2 other 2 2 into 18 that gives us 18 square units as our answer so C is our correct choice moving to the 17th question uh, we have the polynomials which uh, when divided by x plus 1 gives x square minus 2 as the quotient and 5 as the remainder is this so this we need to use a division algorithm formula now what is the division algorithm formula uh, says so first we'll write down whatever is given out we are asked to find p of x okay we don't know what is this we have to find out we have been given g of x which is x plus 1 it gives us uh, x square minus 2 as the quotient it says so q of x will be x square minus 2 and uh, remainder is 5 so that means r of x is equal to 5 so di but division algorithm is like this p of x equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x so in this formula we need to substitute whatever we have over here and we should get our p of x so x plus 1 into x square minus 2 plus 5 for the remainder if we multiply this thing we'll open this x into this entire bracket x square minus 2 so minus 2 over here i'll put this in a bracket here because i'll keep 5 out separately and close the bracket plus 1 into x square minus 2 and i'll close this bracket put a plus 5 outside then I'll open this bracket, so that gives me x cube minus 2x plus x square minus 2 plus 5. Okay, uh, x cube minus 2x plus x square minus 2 plus 5. Okay, and then we'll get we'll put x cube here, then we'll put plus x square next uh, minus 2x, and there is uh, positive 5 minus 2 that gives us positive 3 so this is our p of x so let's compare this if we compare this to the first one itself we'll get it x cube plus x square minus 2x plus 3 so a is our correct option question 18 the simplified form of square root of min uh, root square root of 1 minus cos square a is one of these so write down that square root of 1 minus cos square a now this can be written as 1 minus cos square a from our identity we know is sin square a. The square root of sin square is sin a. So our correct choice would be d sin a. Next from an external point t, tp and tq are two tangent segments to a circle at p and q respectively. If o is the center of the circle and angle poq equal to 130 degrees then angle pto equal to dash so the diagram is not given over here we will have to do one do a round diagram like this okay um, t is the external point it says and there's p and q where the tangents are formed and we'll take a center here we'll draw the radii joining them uh, we have said tp and tq right tp and tq are two tangent segments um, if o is the center of the circle now POQ, POQ, this angle is 130 degrees, okay, this one. Uh, we need to find PTO for which we will have to join this, then only we will be able to get PTO. So to find that out, see uh, when it joins like this, okay, this is does not form a triangle. If you look, there are four vertices, one, two, three and four. So it actually forms a quadrilateral. And the sum of all angles of a quadrilateral are, are 360 degrees. We know that this is 90 degrees and this is also 90 degrees. And we are given this as 130 degrees, which means we can find out this angle using the angle sum property of a quadrilateral. So that's exactly what we will do. So we'll say in uh, POTQ, we'll say oh, POQT, okay, quadrilateral, we have. Uh, angle p plus angle q plus angle p o q plus angle p t q 
equal to 360 degrees that is the angle sum property angle p we know is 90 degrees so 90 degrees and angle q is also 90 degrees angle poq is given to us as 130 degrees ptq is what we need to find out so if we want to find out pto we need to first find out ptq 360 degrees so 90 plus 90 is 180 180 plus 130 is to uh, 310 if you take 310 on the other side it will become negative and we will get angle ptq equal to 50 degrees because 360 degrees minus 310 degrees gives us 50 degrees okay now this becomes like an angle bisector which means angle pto should be equal to angle qto in that case uh, if uh, angle pto is equal to angle uh, qto that means angle pto which is what we need to find out should be 25 degrees okay because this full angle is 50 degree and half of this angle will be 25 degrees okay because this angle is equal to this angle because this forms the angle bisector this ot forms the angle bisector hence the correct choice is a 25 degrees moving on to question uh, 20 the pair of linear equations 4x minus 9y equal to 10 and 3x minus 6y equal to 5 represents one of these lines so we have uh, 4x minus 9y equal to 10 and 3x minus 6y equal to 5. So we need to compare and see. So we'll a1, a2, we'll have so 4 upon 3 equal to minus 9 upon 6 equal to minus 10 upon minus 5. Okay, because when we take 10 on the other left hand side, it will become my, my negative. And also when we take 5 on the left hand side, it will become negative. So I'm just taking it because I feel it will be equal. So 3 2 are 6 and 3 3 are 9. Then we have cancel this part and we have uh, uh, there's a negative also over here that was cancelling over here. So 5 1s are 5, 5 2 are. So we have 4 upon 3 which is not equal to 3 upon 2 and obviously not equal to 2 upon 1 so but we just consider the first one where 4 upon 3 is not equal to 3 upon 2 so in that case we can say that we have a unique equation and in case of unique equations we always have intersecting lines when we the graphical representation of linear equations it will give us in, intersecting lines gives us unique equation and this is um, for unique equation where a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 and equal to c1 upon c2 but anyway this doesn't count this is what counts so it gives us a unique solution and unique solution is given only uh, graphically when drawn they give us two intersecting lines intersecting at a unique part so a is our correct choice next question the probability of getting a red king from a well shuffled deck of 52 playing cards is dash. So how many red kings are there? There are just two red kings, one of heart and one of diamond. So that means probability of a red king would be 2. And how many cards are there? Total 52. So 2 upon 52. So you have 2 ones are 2, 2 26 are 52. So 1 upon 26 is the correct answer and B is the correct choice if triangle abc is right angled at c then the value of cosec a plus b is s so we have the triangle and it says it is right angled at c so we'll take over here we'll take a and b over here okay now all we have given is this it is right angled at c and we are asked to find out cosec of a plus b okay we don't know what it is so we know something of the triangle that is the property that the sum of all angles of a triangle equal to 180 degrees so i'll write it over here as a plus b plus c equal to 180 degrees and i'll take c on the other side so we have a plus b equal to 180 degrees minus c but c we know is 90 degrees because we said it is right angle so i'm going to replace c with 90 degrees like this and we'll get a plus b equal to 90 degrees now we need cosec a plus b right so i'm going to multiply with cosec b on both sides so i will get cosec of a plus b 
equal to cosec of uh, 90 degrees okay now cosec of 90 degrees is what sine of 90 degrees is 1 so cosec of 90 degrees will also be 1 so that means cosec of a plus b is equal to 1 so correct option in this case will be b 1 next question 23rd two concentric circles have radii 20 centimeters and 15 centimeter therefore the area of the region between the outer and inner circle is less uh, centimeter we have not given given the value of pi so we will and we see in our options we have pi so we won't be converting it to 22.7 or 3.14 rather take it as pi only now we are given two circle concentric circle that means something like this and something like this okay and the smaller one has a radii of 15 and the larger one has a, a radius of 20 centimeters so we need to find the area for both so area of outer circle so area of outer circle minus inner circle will give us the area of the shaded region or area of the region between outer and inner circle. area of outer region pi r1 i'll take square so i'll take pi the way it is so radius is given as 20 right so 20 whole square and 20 whole square is 400 so 400 pi centimeter square similarly area of inner circle same way we find out equal to pi and i'll take this as r2 square so pi and that is given as 15 so 15 whole square that gives us 225 pi centimeter square so if you want to find out the region between the outer and inner circle we just need to subtract so area of uh, region between outer and inner circle equal to 400 minus 225 and that will give us 175 square centimeters so sorry pi that would be pi over here as well pi over here so that would be the correct choice would be a 175 pi 24th question the rational number having a terminating decimal expansion is one of these now you know in uh, class 9 actually we uh, did a problem uh, where it was telling us uh, that whenever we in the denominator we have the units place ending with 5 or 0 then that should be that decimal should be uh, it, that fraction should have a terminating decimal so i am going to use that logic to find out about this uh, 23 upon 20 rather than finding the others and check whether it's really giving me a terminating decimal expansion or not so 23 upon 20 if I want uh, I multiply it with 5 in the numerator and denominator so that I get 100 in the denominator. So 23 into 5, 5 3s are 15, carry 1, 5 2s are 10, 115, 20 into 5 is 100. And if we take this two zeros are there, we take them up so the decimal place will move one, two spots. So that means 1.15 and this is terminating. So terminating decimal expansion. So C is our correct choice. Moving to the 25th question, if the point P of x of y is equidistant from a 5, 1 and b 1, minus 1, 5, then we should get one of these equations. So, in other words, it's telling you a p is equal to b p, okay, and we just need to find them. So, I am not going to put square root and all because the square root on either side will cancel. Rather, directly I will put uh, the equation which is uh, 5 plus 1 whole square okay uh, 30 not 5 plus 1 whole square that would be x minus 5 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square equal to similarly i'll do for this x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square so if i expand this so this is a minus b whole square this is a plus b whole square and this other two are also a minus b whole square identities so here we go so we get x square minus 10 x plus 25 so 5 y minus 1 whole square can be written as plus 
y square minus 2y plus 1 equal to x square plus 2x plus 1 and this would be y square minus 10y plus 25 okay so x square and x square cancels out each other y square and y square cancels out each other anything else that is cancelling out no okay so we'll write down what is left minus 10x minus 2y 25 plus 1 is 26 equal to 2x minus 10y 25 plus 1 is 26 so this and this will go again and this is what we're left with so since we need x on the left hand side y on the right hand side as per our options we will keep x on the left hand side so this will become minus 2x minus 10x i'm bringing 2x on this side uh, um, minus 10y and minus 2 uh, so this will be plus 2y so yeah, 2x on this side will become minus 2x minus 10x remains the same when minus 2y is taken on the right hand side it become plus 2y so what we get is minus 12x equal to minus minus 10 and plus 2 gives us minus 8y 4 3s are 12 and 4 2s are 8 cancel this and we'll get 3x equal to 2y that is our answer which means our correct option is a 3x equal to 2y next question the area covered by the minute hand of a clock of length 6 centimeter in 20 minutes is dash centimeter square and the options are given here so we need to know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes and when the clock covers one hour it covers 360 degrees so in other words one minute will be equal to 360 degrees upon 60 which means one minute should be equal to six degrees if we cancel this out this is what we get one minute equal to six degrees now we need to know what about 20 minutes so 20 minutes means 20 into one minute so that will be six into 20 that means 20 minutes will be equal to six into 20 will be 120 degrees so 20 minutes is equal to 120 degrees so area covered by the minute hand is given by area sector formula so area uh, covered will be equal to theta upon 360 degrees uh, pi r square so theta we have found as 120 degrees upon 360 degrees pi we have to take it the way it is because we have pi in the answer and radius is given length of the clock will be equal to the radius so that is 6 into 6 so 120 into 3 gives us 360 degrees and 3 on the 3 3 to the 6 that means we get answer as 12 pi so d is our correct option Coming to the 27th question, if uh, minus 1 comma 3 yeah. is the solution of the equation 3x minus ky equal to 9, then k is dash. The choices are here. So what we need to do is we need to put this value of x and y in this equation and then we will get the value of k. Let's do that. 3x minus ky is rewriting the equation and in place of x we will put minus 1, 3 into minus 1 minus k into y which is 3 equal to 9 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 minus k into 3 is minus 3k equal to 9 take minus 3 on the other side it will become positive 9 plus 3 will become positive 12 3 ones are 3 3 fours are 12 so we get k equal to minus 4 so our correct choice is b minus 4 the length of the longest chord of a circle of radius 5.4 cm is dash. A length of the longest chord of a circle is also the diameter. If radius is given as 5.4, then diameter should be 2 times r. So, diameter is equal to 2 times r. This is the formula. 2 times into 5.4. That gives us 10.8 cm. So, our correct choice is D. Next question, 29. If the product of two numbers is 756, and their HCF is 6, then their LCM is this. So the formula is HCF into LCM should give us the product of two numbers. We are already given that, which is 756. We are also given HCF is 6, so I am going to substitute that in place of HCF. And we get 6 into LCM equal to 756. So if we divide, let's see what we will get. 
6 1s are 6, carry 1, 15, 6 2s are 12, carry 3, 6 6 are 36. That means LCM is equal to 126. So, correct option is D 126. Next question 30th. If a ball is drawn at random from a bag containing 7 red, 5 blue, and 8 yellow balls, then the probability of getting a ball which is not yellow is one of these. We are given 7 red, 5 blue, and 8 yellow balls. But we are asked to find out find the probability of getting a ball which is not yellow. So there are two ways of doing this thing. Okay. Not getting a yellow ball will mean that we have to get either red or blue ball. On the other hand, we can find out probability of getting a yellow ball and then from that find out probability of not getting. I will solve both ways and show you how this problem can be done. So first we will solve probability of not getting a yellow ball. In that uh, bag, we have red, blue and yellow balls. If you are not going to get yellow balls, then we are going to get either red or blue balls. How many are there? 7 red, 5 blue, total 12. But uh, total 12 balls which are not yellow. But how many are there which are yellow? 8. So, 12 plus 8 is 20. So, totally there are 20 balls and there are 12 balls which are not yellow. So, probability of not getting a yellow, okay, yellow will be equal to 12 upon 20, okay, that is getting red as well as blue. If we divide this 4 3 is a 12, 4 5 is a 20. So 3 upon 5 is a correct choice. There is another way of solving this thing uh, is to find out what is the probability of a yellow ball, of getting a yellow ball. So probability of getting a yellow ball is um, how many yellow balls are there? 8 and totally there are 20 balls. So 4 2 is a 8, 4 5 is a 20. So 2 upon 5 is probability of getting a yellow ball. If you want to find a probability of not getting a yellow ball, this is how you do it. Getting yellow ball, it will be equal to 1 minus probability of yellow ball. Okay, We know that probability of an event happening and a probability of event not happening, when we add them, the it should be equal to 1. So, when we take the probability of event happening on the other side, it will become negative. So, that is why we have 1 minus probability of getting a yellow ball. So, that would be 1 minus probability of yellow ball is 2 upon 5. And this will get again as 3 upon 5. So, you see, either ways you do it, whether this way or this way, you are going to get the same answer. So, B is our correct option. Next, we come to the 31st question which says the value of the trigonometric expression sin square 20 degrees plus sin square 70 degrees minus cos x square 45 degrees is one of these. Let us solve sin square 20 degrees plus sin square 70 degrees minus cos x square 45 degrees. Okay. A sin square 20 degrees can be written, I uh, will keep it like that, but I will change the sin square 70 degrees as sin square, it can be written also as 90 degrees minus 20 degrees. 90 minus 20 is 70. And cosec of 45, sin of 45 is what? 1 upon root 2. So, cosec of uh, 45 is root 2. So, root 2 whole square because there is a square over here. Now, sin square 20 degrees and sin of, now this becomes complementary angle. So, sin of 90 minus 20, sin of 20 is complementary of that is cos. So, cos square 20 degrees, this can be written as square root of uh, square of square root of 2 is 2 and sin square plus cos square theta or sin square 20 degrees plus cos square 20 degrees is 1, 1 minus 2 which will be equal to minus 1. So, in this case, our correct option will be a minus 1. 32nd question, if uh, 5x plus 7y equal to 15 and 7x plus 5y equal to 21, then the value of x plus y is dash. We will add them up, 5x plus 7y equal to 15 and 7x plus 5y equal to 21. All we need to do is just add them, let us see what we get, 5x plus 7x we get 12x, 7y plus 5y we get 12y. 
and 21 plus 15 we get 36. If we take 12 common from both of these, this is what we will get 12x plus y equal to 36. 12 ones are 12, 12 threes are 36. We get x plus y equal to 3. That means our correct choice is D, that is 3. Next, we come to the 33rd question, which says the y coordinate of the point which divides the line segment joining the points P 6 comma 4 and Q 2 comma minus 8 in the ratio 1 is to 3 internally is one of these. So we just need to find out the y coordinate. So to find out the y coordinate, it would be corresponding to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 whole thing upon m1 plus m2. Now m1 will take as 1 and m2 will take as 3. So that whole thing will be upon 1 plus 3. Then we need to substitute the values of y2 and y1. So y2 will be minus 8 and y1 will be 4. Remember we are only finding out for the y coordinate. So corresponding to 1 into minus 8 is minus 8 and plus 3 into 4 is 12. Whole thing upon 1 plus 3 is 4. And this will get us minus 8 and plus 12 gives us positive 4. So 4 upon 4 which will be equal to 1. So that means y will be equal to 1. And so our correct choice is B. Okay. Next we come to the 34th question. On dividing the polynomial x cube plus 3x square minus 4x minus 12 by x minus 2, the quotient is one of these. So let's divide to find out which one it is. So x minus 2 divide by uh, x cube plus 3x square minus 4x minus 12. So since x cube is over here and we have x, we will put x square here which will which will help us get x cube here. Minus 2 into x square will give us minus 2x square. Change the sign throughout. So we'll, this will get cancelled. We will get 3 plus 2 which is 5x square. Bring this minus 4x down. Now x is here, x square is here which means we will have to put a positive 5x to get 5x square here. Minus 2 into 5x gives us minus 10x. Change the sign throughout. This will cancel and plus 10 minus 4 will give us positive 6x. Bring this minus 12 down. Now since x is here, x is here, the same variable, same power. Um, we just need to put a positive 6 here. And we will get 6x, x into 6 is 6x. Minus 2 uh, into positive 6 will give us minus 12. Change the sign throughout and we will get remainder equal to 0. But the important thing is we need to find out the quotient because we are asked to find the quotient. So it is x square plus 5x plus 6 and that is the cho correct choice is C x square plus 5x plus 6. Coming to the 31st question, in a circle of radius 7 cm, if an arc subtends an angle of 90 degrees at the center, then the length of the arc is dash centimeters. Pi needs to be taken as 22 upon 7. So, we will take length of uh, arc equal to theta upon 180 degrees into pi r and theta is 90 degrees upon 180 degrees, pi is 22 upon 7 and radius is given to us as 7. So this 7 and this 7 will cancel, 9, 0 and this 0 cancel, 9 ones are 9, 9 twos are 18, 2 ones are 2, 2 levels are 22, which means our answer is 11 centimeter, okay, which means our correct choice or option is A11. Next question, 36, the pair of linear equations kx plus 6y equal to 7 and 2x minus 3y equal to 8 has a unique solution for all the values of k other than and these are the values that are given over here. So when will they have a unique solution, okay, they will have unique solution when a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2. So what is a1 upon a2, a1 upon a2 is k, a1 is k and a, a2 would be Similarly, b1 would be 1 upon b2, right? b1 is 6 and b2 is minus 3, okay? Also, 
So we write down uh, a one upon a two condition for uh, uh, getting a unique solution not equal to b one upon b two, uh, which is a one is k upon two not equal to six upon minus three. Okay, we will cancel this three was a three three two is a six. We take two on the other cross multiply. We will get k not equal to minus four. Do not forget the minus sign over here. So what this implies. Okay, is that that the pair of linear equation, this which is given, okay, has a unique solution for all values of k, but not for minus four. So this is our correct answer. That is, k is equal to minus four because we are asked to find where k has all where uh, where, where um, the pair of linear equations, this one. Has a unique solution for all values of k, other than the one that is mentioned down here. So this what we are getting is we can for any other value of k we will get a unique solution, but not for minus four. And this is what it says over here. In other words, okay. So correct choice is a k equal to minus four. Understand the question here. Thirty seven question. If a one comma one, b minus one comma two, c two comma five, and d a comma Four are the vertices of a parallelogram ABCD. Then the value of A is one of these. Okay, so uh, we if we take this A, B, and C, D, we know the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal to each other. So we can write A, B is equal to C, D. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal to each other. So by using distance formula, we just need to find A, B, and as well as C, D. So we will solve both of them side by side. So we get A, B, right? So Um, uh, x1 minus x2 will get 1 plus 1 whole square plus y1 minus y2. So that would be 1 minus 2 whole square equal to. You can also do y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. Comes to the same. Then next uh, we have over here uh, c d that we need to find out. So we have we'll take 2 minus a whole square plus 5 minus 4 whole square. 1 plus 1 is 2 whole square. Plus 1 minus 1 is minus 1 whole square equal to 2 minus a whole square. So this will go a minus b the whole square formula. So that would be a square plus minus that would be sorry that would be a square minus 4a plus 4 And that would be plus five minus four is one whole square. Two whole square is four plus one equal to a square minus four a plus four plus one. Okay. Since there's four on both the sides, that will go one on both the sides. That will go. We are left with a square minus four a. I'll take minus four a on this side. This will become positive, and a square I'll get. So a and a cancel. We are left with a equal to four. So that means our correct choice is D four. Next question, which that is thirty eight. Which of the following real numbers is irrational? Now square root of forty nine is seven, so that's rational. Okay. What about two plus root six? Two plus root six is irrational, so our correct choice should be B. But we can have a look at the other ones also. Here you have uh, root three into four root three. So root three into root three will give us three, and three into four is twelve, which is a rational number. Then we come to D, so five minus root seven. So a minus b into a plus b whole square, which gives us a square minus b square, which means this will become twenty-five minus seven, and that would be eighteen. So again, a rational number. So our correct choice for this question would be. B two plus root six that is an irrational number. Thirty nine question: If tan three theta equal to sine forty five degrees, cos forty five degrees plus sine thirty degrees, then the value of theta is dash. Let's find out. Tan three theta equal to sine forty five degrees, cos forty five degrees plus sine thirty degrees. Tan three theta sine of forty five is one upon root two. Into cos 45, which is also 1 upon root 2, plus uh, sine of 30, which is half. Tan of 
3 theta equal to 1 of root 2 into root 2 is 2. So, we will get half plus half that gives us 10 3 theta equal to 1. Half plus half is 1. 10 3 times. We also know that 10 of 45 degrees is also 1. That means 3 theta should be equal to 45 degrees. If we divide 3 1 the 3, 3 1 the 4, 3 5 the 15. So, that means theta is equal to 15 degrees and hence A is our correct choice. Coming to the last question of this paper, 40th question, the area of a circle that can be inscribed in a square of side 8 centimeters is dash square. Centimeter. So, this is a square and this is a circle inscribed in this square. The si side is of this square is given as 8 centimeter, which means if we draw a line like this, which is also would happen to be the diameter of the circle, then this would be a total of 8 centimeter. That means the diameter would be 8 centimeter. Okay. So, diameter is 8 centimeter, which means this implies that the radius is got to be 4 centimeter. So, we need to find the area of the circle. So, we will apply the area of circle formula, okay, which is pi r square. And since we are not given the value of pi and we see in our options pi is there, so we will leave it the way it is. And pi will leave the way it is. And instead of r, we will put 4, so 4 whole square. 4 square is 16. So, we get 16 pi square centimeter. That is our correct answer. And so, our correct option would be C 16 pi. So, with this we come to an end uh, of this uh, model paper for uh, SSC or class 10 uh, that would be coming in uh, November, uh, November for uh, Goa board students, even other board students can uh, uh, answer this question, try out this as a practice. And uh, though this is for level 1, um, sorry, level 2 students, I would strongly urge level 1 students to also uh, use this as a practice paper because most of it will be there for you. Okay. Now, the question paper uh, will be put up on the website. The link for that will be in the description box below. You can have a look and try solving it on your own. Okay. So, if you like watching this video, please do not forget to hit the like button. Share this with your friends as well as classmates. Let them benefit as you have benefited. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe because there are many more videos to come and we still have another term to go after this. There are pre prelims also coming up. So, prelim papers also will be solved and I will try to solve as many question papers as possible and uh, answer your queries if you have any. Okay. So, thanks very much for watching and keep watching for more such videos. Thank you.